Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. It's time to clear up some marker searching myths in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, I have a whole tutorial on making the most out of markers. You can go and check that out. What I'm specifically going to be talking about is searching for those markers after you've created them. Before we make the markers, you need to understand there are two ways of storing the markers, and I have a whole other tutorial about where are markers stored in the clip or in the project, and it's either or, it's not both. I think most people would have a problem if they switched the preference in mid-workflow. I'm going to leave it on the default, which is to save the marker in the project. That means that the only way you can see the marker is in the project, and you cannot share the clip itself. Then I'll, I'll switch that and show that. Okay, so I've created a project called Save In Project. I'm gonna bring in some media here. By the way, the videos in this tutorial are supplied by Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, illustrations, motion graphics, templates, and 3D objects. Find the perfect asset for your next creative project like we're about to do. So I'm just gonna grab this clip. I haven't used this one before. Okay, and here we have a clip of this guy smiling at the camera, and I'm going to add some markers. If you click on the clip and add a marker, it will add it as a clip marker. If you don't, it's going to add it up at the top here as a, a timeline marker, but I want this to be saved in the clip itself. In fact, I'm gonna double click and load this into the source monitor so you can see. So I'm gonna add completely unrelated marker names just so we can easily search by them. So I'm going to tap M and M again. I added a marker and I opened it up and I'll type Apple. So I've added that marker there and you can see it's over here too. And when you mouse over, you can see the description of that marker. Okay, that's the first one. The next one is going to be pear and the next one is orange. So again, I'm tapping M, M twice. So here's a marker, here's a marker, here's a marker. Let's go to the project bin and search for Apple. Nope, not there. Let's search for orange. Nope, not there. And let's search for pear. It's not there. Why aren't they there? Because I'm not searching in the markers panel, I'm searching, searching in the project panel and the project panel shows you media in the project. Markers are not in the project. Media, they're in the markers panel. So let's go look for the markers panel. There it is. Now let's search for Apple. We won't see anything. We have to turn on show all clip markers. And sometimes even if it's on, you've got to deselect and select the clip. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but anyway. Once you have that turned on and you see everything, now when you search for Apple, there it is. Search for pear, there it is. Search for orange, okay? So all of the markers are searchable for clip markers stored in the project in the markers panel, okay? I hope you understand that this is only about marker data, not about clip data, which happens to include the markers, all right? So that's the first step. I'm going to delete these. So by the way, we can now do that in the markers panel. Clear all markers, even out of the um, source here. All right, so let's go back to our project bin. We've got the same clip in here. Now in the edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, preferences, media, I'm going to turn on right clip markers to XMP, okay? I'm also going to save this as a new project. I just don't wanna get things mixed up. So save in file. 
So now when I write markers to the clip, again, I'll tap M twice. And again, let's uh, just unrelated terms. So tree, road, and hill. Now, if we go back to our markers panel, click on that, search for these, tree, road, hill. Okay, so far so good. Everything is searching the exact same way. They're in the timeline in the clip here. They're in the clip marker. They're in the markers panel. Let's go over to the project and let's search for tree. There it is. The clip is showing road, whoop, spell it right, road and hill. Okay. So now they're stored in the clip. Let's delete that clip out of here. And we'll import that clip back inside. If I double click on this in the media browser and load it into, it's not in my project yet, but you can see the markers are in the clip. So now if we, import that. They'll show up down in here. If we go back to our project and search for those same clips, there's tree, there's ro road, and there's hill. They're in the clip and they're in the markers panel. You can search in the project and you can also search in the markers. So same thing, tree, there it is, road, hill. So hopefully that will let you understand that there's not a problem in Premiere Pro, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Searching for markers that are in the, the clip, then you can use the markers panel because it's part of the project. If you're searching, if you're saving to XMP, now it's in the file, you can search for both in the markers and in the project bin. Why would you want both of these? Well, some people share the project, some people share the media. If this project now includes the markers that are in the clip, if I remove this clip, I remove the markers. This is a good workflow. Saving the XMP, the file, is for people who are sharing clips and want the markers in the clips and they want them searchable. But if you're adding markers and sharing a project, then you don't write them to the uh, clip, you're just sharing the project. I mean, you could, in this instance here, I could share the media with the markers in it and the project without the markers in it, but the markers come in with the clip. Again, there's no right or wrong, Is it? it's how this works for you. But I wanted to dispel that myth that there are issues here or something is wrong or you can't do certain things. All right. If you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, then take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, like our wonderful PayPal supporters, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description on the front of the channel. We love all of our wonderful supporters. You folks are a uh, freaking amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get rid of all the misinformation out there and keep you informed.